Hey everyone, stick with us versus herd. If it's your first time here, let the content hit subscribe. If you want to get notifications for when we post videos, tap the bell. And if you want to join the UVH fam, our community link is below in the dis dis description to our Discord and our options trading group on Facebook. If you made money today, comment got paid below. And if you made mo if you lost money today, comment learned a lesson. If you could do me a favor, hit the like button for the YouTube algo. Yes, it is true. I'm taking this week off. For, from trading, I'm on vacation. Figured I'd pump out one more video before I GTFO get out of here. So today, unfortunately, I missed trading. I mean, you guys had a crazy, crazy trading day. I did go long JPM, but hopefully I don't get ripped a new one there, but we'll cover that in a second. Today, the price action was insane. I mean, this week in general is gonna be a bit crazy. Now, you know, looking at the impact report, coronavirus, you know, we special, we, we uh, pointed out coronavirus cases are on the rise and then today the california is going to close indoor restaurants movie theaters and bars statewide so they're rolling back which is a very bad sign however this weekend also disneyland uh, disney world in florida opened up but right now california is 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 rolling back all counties in the state to close indoor operations for a handful of businesses, including restaurant, bars, movie theaters, and museums, as COVID-19 cases begin to climb or continue to climb. They're allowed to operate outdoors, um, worship services, personal care services, malls, offices, hair salons, and barbershops for that for the 30 counties on the California's monitoring list, which represent 8% of the state's population. So... Things are being monitored. They're closing some things down. Things are getting rolled back. So not not good. I think, what do they say down here? They said the uh, state recorded 8,300 new cases on Sunday. The state's positivity rate or the percent of all tests returning positive has ticked up to 7.4%. So people are now getting scared. We did have a huge uh, gap up on the market today. I mean, if you're looking at SPY, you know, we closed on, we closed on Friday at 318. We did gap up to 320 area. It pushed up to 322. And then we had a major, major sell off this, this afternoon where Amazon, I mean, Amazon dropped 250 points. Tesla dropped 300 points. And, you know, if you didn't take your profits, if you weren't, if you were being a greedy bull, I mean, you deserve to get slaughtered. That's all I gotta say. I mean, I'm I'm a bullish person in general. I I'm, I'm with the bulls, but when it comes to when it comes to price action like this, like if you're looking at Tesla, I mean, in just a few days, Tesla went from 1400 almost to 1800. It went to 1794 in two days. It ran 400 points. I mean, what did you think was gonna happen? What do you think is going to happen here? Okay, it's just not going to keep going up and up and up. And sure, you know, people are like, is it always going to be this easy? Is it always going to be this easy to make money? No, it is definitely not. No, it's definitely not. And, and, and a lot of people got a little bit of taste today, you know, giving up its own gains. You know, at some point today, buy the dip wasn't working, especially stocks like Tesla actually closed red down 47 points after being up like 15 percent. Right. And it came down. It came down to negative negative three percent just crazy crazy um spy right now if you're looking at spy spy is is it came up to 322 today got rejected almost went positive on the year and then came back down closed under 315 which in my opinion you know i've been watching this area right in here 317 315 area it closed below 315 which to me is a little bit bearish however it just came down to the 10 day which is still bullish i mean we're still in a bullish uptrend here but you want to be very very careful that you know with with the coronavirus news with the things that are going on and also going into this week we do have let me grab it for you for a second here this week we have some major catalysts okay Major banks are reporting earnings. JP Morgan, Wells Fargo, City, Delta, uh, Delta Airlines, not a bank, but airlines reporting, PNC, Goldman Sachs. We also have United Healthcare, Bank of America, Domino's, and Netflix. I mean, all these guys are reporting earnings this week. Charles Swap, I mean, this is a very heavy, um, finan heavy week on the financials. JP Morgan did close green today. They were up 
one and a half percent. Goldman Sachs was up another 1.62 percent. Bank of America did close up almost one percent. So uh, things things are moving. We'll see what happens. This did close above the 50 day. So we will definitely see what happens. I did go I did go a little bit long, but I went long and I sold some credit put spreads, but I sold them in August. So hopefully, hopefully things will be okay. I don't know. We'll see. If, if it stays the same, we'll, we'll, we'll get some premium. But the one thing that I wanted to go a little bit further out, there was IV wasn't that rich in here, but if we have a we have a, a tick up a couple of bucks, we'll make we'll make I'm not looking for a huge trade here. You know, I'm looking for it just to ride up a little bit, trying to cross over a hundred. Maybe it'd run to 105 before getting rejected, but Right now, I mean, I think the banks are kind of stalled out down here. Delta Airlines, kind of what I'm thinking on Delta, I mean, the downtrend here still intact does not look as healthy. So people were buying puts and all that. I didn't know which way it was going to go, so I stayed out. Maybe, maybe they're saying, hey, more people are turning to travel. But if if the one thing I don't like about Delta is with the coronavirus news and, and they shut down flights again, airports again, I mean – Delta is going to get slammed. Obviously, they're probably not going to have any guidance for the rest of 2020, which they which they said last quarter. So we don't know. We don't really know what's going to happen here uh, with Delta. So I stayed out. So depending on depending on you know what happens with J.P. Morgan today, um, my other play that I'm looking to get into is Goldman Sachs this week. Also Netflix. Netflix, I might get in here. Morgan Stanley did pretty well on last quarter as well. Let's see what Morgan Stanley's doing real quick here. Morgan Stanley's Morgan Stanley holding pretty well, pretty bullish here. Might break out, so we might go. We might sell some premium. Might sell some credit put spreads on you know, the seventy percent for this week's not that high, but we might be able to get away with it selling some credit put spreads on Morgan Stanley. Netflix, implied volatility was rather low before this and now as of today the sell-off it it, it it definitely ticked up a lot higher if looking here this is this chart down here with the blue with the blue line on it is implied volatility so this is ticking up here had a pretty heavy volume day today on netflix and it saw the most volume it's seen in a while and you know netflix gapped up as well netflix is another one it ran from 500 to 575 in two days three days and it gave it all back today 575 gave it all back so if people were holding on i hope really hope they got out now now premium to me is looking a little bit more juicier you know we're at 119 percent for this week next week's 89 percent. so i might be trying to sell some premium in here we'll see hopefully implied volatility goes a little bit higher before thursday but like i said i'm going to be taking i'm going to be taking this week off from trading and we're not going to have as many videos i'm still rolling out some content like you can kind of see here but it's, it's going to be a light week and i'm not going to be really trading all that much right now so this week you know you want to you want to be very careful just be just keep in mind there's a lot of bank earnings we do have a lot of coronavirus coronavirus news out right now and and we do have some data coming in you know with the with the um Fed speakers, we do have initial job that came on Thursday, retail sales on Thursday, the Philly Fed index, the retail sales for excluding autos. So we'll see, we'll see what happens. I mean, I think I think this week, I honestly, I mean, I've been waiting for a little bit of pullback, but I just didn't think it was gonna be. I mean, they really they really pushed to the upside before Blue Mountain. I mean, obviously, like on Netflix today, what I was looking at here, was it like kind of pinging back and forth? And then people probably thought it was gonna take another leg up but took the full leg down. <laughs> so <laughs> kind of crazy, kind of crazy. You know, um, S&Ps, I think, are interesting. Qs, Qs coming back down. Like I, like I was saying last week, we're getting a bit detached from the 10-day. Now it's coming back down to the 10-day. So it's not, not looking, it's not like bearish, bearish. You know, it's not like we're cutting through down to 240 on the Qs, but we are having a little bit of retracement, which is which is not a bad thing. It's healthy for a bullish market. I mean, believe it or not, we can't go up every single day. I mean, I know today today sounded like it was gonna gonna rip off into nowhere, but they caught it, pushed it back down, and you know, it's just coming back down to the 10 day. And I definitely can respect that. Apple as well. Apple got a little detached from the 10 days coming back down. It's been riding the 10 day really nice and tight, dipped dipped under it a few times and now it's ripping back up. So, you know, just let the price action do its thing. Like do, 
let the stock market do its thing and, and, and just trade the price. You know, the news is going to be what the news is, not trying to scare anybody with the coronavirus news, but it is a factor in what is happening here. And you want to manage your risk appropriately. Like you don't want to go all in calls because things like this could happen. People are like, oh, there's no way we can go down. There's no way we can do this. There's no way we can do that. But believe it or not, you never thought that Tesla was going to rip, rip apart 300 points in one day. You never thought that was going to happen, but it did. It happened. And now that it's happened, I hope I hope th those people are awake, they're enlightened, and they can kind of see what's going on now. So if you watch this video to the end, comment, watch to the end. Again, I'm not trading this week. As always, stay safe, stay green. It's us versus herd.